Hi gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. Mr. Elusive and Hermity Boo is in the picture just for a minute. He's my oldest doggy. Anyway, this week we have Venus, the planet of love, shifting signs. We also have the sun shifting signs. And then Venus and Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable, bring a big surprise to our love life. Here's your weekly astrology. Aquarius! Yeah! I bring tidings of joy. I bring happy news to you. Really fabulous news. And that is that Venus, the planet of love, is going into your sign. How great is that? Lady Goddess, Goddex Love is coming in and wrapping you in cosmic unconditional love. So you should feel a warm tingle of anticipation this week as things start to change for you. You're a love magnet. You can heal your relationship to yourself. You can put that energy in to blossom your heart again and to heal any wounds, you know, but make sure you do something with it. When I do astrology, it's not like fatalistic, this, that and the other is gonna happen to you. You know, it's about the fact that we can harness the powerful energies in the cosmos and use them to our advantage. So how do you want to use Venus, the planet of loves, energy in your sign? What is it that you want to manifest when it comes to love? It doesn't just have to be romantic love, although it could be. It could be about you healing a current relationship. It could be about you healing a relationship with a child. It could be about you healing your relationship with yourself. But use that energy, meditate on that energy and use it to your advantage. The sun is also shifting signs and making you super psychic and super empathetic. You're tuning in to the people around you and you want really real connections but you're also super psychic so look out for a dream what are your instincts telling you right now about what you need to do in your life what is your psychic senses telling you about the people around you who should you have in your life for the next phase and who should you ditch you know we're rapidly approaching soon anyway Aquarius season and it's about you're at the end of a cycle. So what do you want to clear out? What do you want to change? What do you want to transform? What do you want to honour about yourself? These are all things to think about. Now, on top of that, we have Venus in your sign, squaring Uranus, the unpredictable. There could be a family reunion. There could be something that comes up in your family. But whatever it is, it's not a difficult square because it's, it's a square involving Venus. And she likes to do things gently and with love. But if there's something that needs to be resolved in your family this week, certainly there's an unexpected conversation around family or, or home, I would imagine. Anyway, let's see what the tower has to say. Aquarius, is there a tarot message for you? Let's have a little look, see if there's any inspiration here or advice that the tarot can offer you for the week ahead. What is occurring, Aquarius? Let's see. First card, yeah, baby. There's great healing and wonder coming. And, you know, whatever other cards I pull, actually, this card is your inspiration for the week. Um, creativity, healing, inspiration, a feeling that you've got your balance. You might be thinking about the past. It's that time of year. We all think about the past at this time of year. But you know what? It's best to focus on what's going on with you now because you're in a very powerful time. The star, healing and inspiration, a creative flow and the high priestess. You're so in tune. You're so powerful. You've got all the answers within you. Don't give it in. Don't let the past define you. Don't let the past hold you back. There may even be someone from the past that pops back up. You know, I'm not worried at all, though. You've got the fool here. You're leaping into healing and wonder. You're leaping into your power. You're ready to let go of any anything to do with the past. You may be thinking about a relative, actually, or even a, a grandparent or somebody that influenced you, a mentor in your past. But you know what? They'd be very proud of you now. And they would say to you, if anybody's giving you shit, walk away. You're fighting for your happiness and you're determined to do it this week and you have all of the magic protection and healing that you need to overcome whatever it is that is still sort of clinging on a little bit these are good times for you take care gorgeous and i'll speak to you soon
If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpicked them and they are fabulous. So I'm going to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. My name's Anna. I work clairvoyantly, clairaudiently. I channel, I do mediumship. I started working professionally as a reader. 1999 that's when I gave up everything else to do this full time. Then it took over as it does because Spirit wants me to work for them. When I first hear a voice on the phone, I will ask you your name, I will ask you your date of birth. It helps me to link with you and it is a bit like a three-way conversation sometimes. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me and I've got another voice that's telling me things. A reading with me should be like talking to a friend. I'm totally non-judgmental. I think I've just about heard it all over the 50 odd years. I would certainly hope they feel they've got their answers or hope, but not tell them what to do. and Never ever lead people into doing something. They find their own answers with the clarity and that's what I hope to give people from their readings. 